North Korea has always been a mysterious country for all of us. From its lunatic leader's baby look to the nuclear weapon threats, from their propaganda media to the sanctions bombarding on them, they may do for a great movie, isn't it? So if all their trades with other countries are blocked by international bodies, how are they making money? And most importantly, how are they financing their expensive nuclear weapons? What's their secret? Today in the episode of My Money Universe, we gonna be revealing all. Welcome to My Money Universe. It's time for a new dream that doesn't involve working for 40 years, barely scraping by. Get financial life in order, find ways to save and invest more, understand insurance and tax, everything in My Money Universe channel. North Korea has the most closed economy in the whole world. Various sanctions by UN and America stop them from trading with other countries. And the value of their own currency is almost, well, nothing. So how are they surviving? Are they so self-sufficient that they can survive just by their own produce? After the end of Korean War, North Korea was basically a cashless society. Everyone worked for the state and was provided with food, shelter and everything else basic by state. This communist system worked well for some time. Soviet Union was helping them in all manners to show the world communism is the right way to go. In 1989, North Koreans were more than twice as wealthy as Chinese. But after the collapse of Soviet Union in 1991, the series of droughts and floods led to a great famine, which pretty much ended the public distribution system of the country. Government could not afford the ration anymore. People were left to their own devices. This started the downfall of the country. Now, in the totalitarian regiment, if you are unable to provide basic necessities to your citizens, then there is a big chance that the most oppressed will rebel against the people on top. It is a big threat to the leader's throne. So how does a leader and his loyals make sure to keep their royal life safe? By creating a myth, a legend, a false god among humans. So in order to maintain the leader's authority in even the worst of human conditions, the loyals, the propaganda machine created the whole cobwebs of legend around him. Doesn't matter where you start, you're gonna end up getting stuck in one. From Kim family's magical birth stories on the top of the mountain, to the cracking of giant snow mountains on their death, there are way too many legends around them, in which the citizens have surrendered themselves. That is the advantage of creating a fake god. A fistful of food converts into holy offering and people eventually give into it. And that's how even with their pathetic economy, they have survived for so long with no real revolt. Now when we are talking about North Korea's economy, it's essential to understand that there are two parties in it. One is the government and second is the supreme leader King Jong Un's personal wealth. They almost work in parallel, though of course Kim Jong-un's part is not that apparent and legal. In the country where people are suffering from malnutrition and lack of medical supplies, Kim Jong-un's lavish lifestyle of expensive alcohols, yachts and private jets are shocking to the least. His secret of vast personal wealth is linked to an organization called Office 39. Office 39 is a ghost organization which doesn't really exist on paper. Its only work is to seek ways to maintain the foreign currency slush fund for the country's leaders. It is believed to be located inside the ruling workers party's building in Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. It completely stay in shadows but run the country from within and operate the most lucrative businesses of the North Korea, of course secretly. It is estimated to bring in between 1 to 2 billion dollars per year or more and is involved in illegal activities such as counterfeiting $100 bills, exporting heroin and endangered species, also in various international insurance frauds. And let's not forget the cyber theft all over the globe. This organization is the main accused in the Sony Pictures hacking in 2014 because of their movie The Interview, which was a comedy based on assassination of North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. After the hacking, eventually Sony cancelled the mass release of the movie and just released it online. This organization also tried spying on one of India's leading scientists in 2019 to find out secrets about India's nuclear and space program. Another way North Korea is dodging the world and making money is through food. 
Did you know the most secretive country in the world actually owns a global chain of restaurants even after all the sanctions by UN and America to stop it? Yes, you heard it right. And the restaurant's name is Pyongyang Restaurant, which has over 130 outlets all over Asia like China, Taiwan, Vietnam and also in Russia, UAE and also in Nepal. And it serves, of course, the traditional North Korean food. Though the sanctions by United Nations and America make essentially all of the restaurants completely illegal under international law. But I guess if your dumplings are good then they just let it be. When you arrive at the restaurant, you will be greeted by the waitress that was hand selected by the North Korean government, screened three generations back for loyalty towards the North Korean government and chosen for their beauty, hygiene and artistic ability. And when they are not serving you kimchi, then they will be singing and dancing in the restaurant. The waitresses actually have to live above the restaurant and aren't allowed to roam in the city freely. Many times, these waitresses run away so that they don't have to go back to North Korea. This restaurant exists in part for cultural diplomacy to show foreigners how good and nice their culture and food is. But the actual reason of the restaurant is cold hard cash. North Korean government is in desperate need of cash and through these restaurants they get different currencies that they need to use in whatever trades they are doing because well, their currency is worthless and nobody wants that. And they can't have global trade currency dollar in legal way because of sanctions. These restaurants are run by third parties and they pay $10,000 to $30,000 every month to the government. And if they default, North Korea will shut the restaurant and all the employees will be called back. And you don't want to go back to the angry dictator, do you? Maybe that's why this North Korean soldier is trying to run away from there. This is the real footage guys. North Korean government have various ways to somehow capitalize on their subordinate citizens. One more way they earn money is by outsourcing North Korean citizens as labor. A recent UN report revealed that a large portion of North Korea's overall income is brought in through outsourced labor. Primarily focused in China and Russia, tens of thousands of North Koreans are forced to work as much as 20 hours a day, while up to $2.3 billion a year in wages are collected by North Korean government. Human rights lawyer anyone? So to think about it, everything looks bleak and horrifying about North Korea. The dictator, nuclear weapon, forced labor, etc, etc. So let's see some artwork from the same place. Smiling and content faces, beautiful people and places all over any art you see from North Korea. Of course the propaganda machine is in work here again. They have a unit that's called Mansude Art Studio, established in 1959 to promote cultural goodwill, which exports artworks like paintings and other works to 160 countries that it shares diplomatic ties with. It also specializes in large structure monuments and overseas projects in 15 African countries. This monument that you see is in Senegal, one of the African countries. This statue is one of the largest statues in the world, standing at 160 feet tall. This cost $27 million to Senegalese government. Now because of the sanctions, Mansude's work has been banned for exports. But as always, they are finding new ways to still continue in their secret ways. What do you think is the worst way they are making money? Tell me in the comments below. Check out our step by step series on how to plan your financial journey. Please subscribe and press the bell icon to not miss any videos. Press the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. My Money Universe.